Hello, welcome to Astronautics for Exploit. This is Dr. Ayanshola Okundele. Interplanetary space travel and tourism for cosmos and universe exploration and extraterrestrial vacation. The focus points are as follows. Reasons for interplanetary space travel. On crude interplanetary space travel. Interplanetary space travel approaches and crude interplanetary space travel. Over the years, humanity's imagination of interplanetary space travel, the crude or uncrude travel between stars and planets, was captured by the curiosity to leave the Earth's confinement, quest for knowledge to know the unknown and to explore the unexplored cosmos for the benefit of humanity. Many years of interplanetary space missions such as Pioneer Voyager and Magellan endowed humans with varieties of wealth of experience and information about the solar system history and its composition necessary for successful future interplanetary human space travel. The dream and science fiction stories of interplanetary space traveling from one planet to another planet is gradually becoming a reality because of advancement in science and technology, championed by the scientists and engineers. Uncrewed and remotely controlled space probes have been sent to some of the planets in the solar system, such as the Jupiter, dwarf planets Pluto and Ceres, Cosmos, and asteroids such as Bennu. The voyagers conducted close-up studies of Jupiter and Saturn. Saturn's rings and the larger moons of the two planets, the inside carried out comprehensive study of the interior and subsurface of Mars. Osiris explored asteroid Bennu, and Pioneer then explored the orbits of Saturn. In 1976, Uranus in 1979, and Neptune in 1983. Various interplanetary space travel approaches have been developed to make interplanetary flights more economical, viable, for economy, and safe for astronauts. How the proposed approaches have been aided by the advancement in artificial intelligence, computing, and theoretical science. Presently, no crude missions have been sent to any planet of the solar system, but various space agencies and private space companies are mapping out strategies to send human astronauts to Mars and beyond. Reasons for interplanetary space travel. Interplanetary space travel is the crude or uncrewed travel between stars and planets, usually within a single planetary system. In practice, space flights of this type are confined to travel between the planets of the solar system. Uncrewed space probes are flown to all the observed planets in the solar system, as well as to draft planets Pluto and Ceres and several asteroids. Artist's concept of a bimodal nuclear thermal rocket in low Earth orbit is shown in this picture. Many astronomers, geologists, and biologists believe that exploration of the solar system provides knowledge that could not be gained by observations from our surface or from orbits and on Earth. The spin-off technologies initially developed for interplanetary space missions are being useful on the Earth in various sectors such as economy, communication, health, industry, and a host of others. Illustration of nuclear technology for future space missions is shown in this picture. Extraction of extraterrestrial materials. Extraction of minerals from asteroids and energy from sources, including orbital solar panels and the very strong magnetic field of Jupiter are useful for use by humans. Colonizing other parts of the solar system will prevent the whole human species from being exterminated by any one of a number of possible events. Illustration of mass orbital and Nanda concept is shown in this picture. On crude interplanetary space travel, for several decades, remotely guided space probes have flown by all of the observed planets of the solar system, from Mercury to Neptune, with the New Horizons probe having flown by the dwarf planet Pluto and the dumb spacecraft currently orbiting the dwarf planet Ceres. The most distant spacecraft 
Phase 1 and Phase 2 have left the solar system as of 8th December 2018, while Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11 and New Horizons are on course to leverage. Concept for a deep space transport spacecraft that would take astronauts to and from Mars is shown in this picture. Planetary orbiters and landers return much more detailed and comprehensive information than flyby missions. Space probes have been placed into orbit around all the five planets known to the ancients, the first being the Phenos, Mars, with Marina 9 in 1971, Jupiter with Galileo in 1995, Saturn, Cassini Ugins in 2004, Mercury, Messenger, March 2011, and a return data about these bodies and their natural satellites. At this impression of Starship designed for interplanetary missions, cruising past the moon is shown in this picture. The near Sumerian mission in 2000 orbited a large near Earth asteroid 433 Eros and so safely landed there. The Japanese high and drive spacecraft Ayabuzo. In 2005, orbited is more near at asteroids 25143 Itokoa. Illustration of NASA's deep space mission is shown in this picture. Remotely controlled landers such as Viking, Pathfinder, and the two Mars exploration rovers have landed on the surface of Mars, and several Fenaran and Vega spacecraft that have landed on the surface of Venus. Venus, with the latter deploying balloons to the planet's atmosphere. The Ugin's probe successfully landed on Saturn's moon Titan. A illustration of an astronaut on the moon is shown in this picture. Interplanetary space travel approaches. Various techniques and approaches have been developed to make interplanetary flights more economical. Advances in computing and theoretical science are improving some techniques, while new proposals are leading to improvements in speed for economy and safety, travel techniques must take into consideration the velocity changes necessary to travel from one body to another in the solar system. Artist's illustration of a solar sail prepared spacecraft is shown in this picture. For orbital flights, an additional adjustment must be made to mark the orbital speed of the destination body. Other developments are designed to improve rocket launching and propulsion as well as the use of non-traditional sources of energy. Using extraterrestrial resources for energy, oxygen and water will reduce costs and improve life support system. At this illustration of spacecraft that provides artificial gravity by spinning is shown in this picture. Examples of interplanetary space travel approaches are human transfers, gravitational slingshot, power slingshot, Fushi Orbis, Space Propulsion System, Nuclear Thermal and Solar Thermal Rockets, Exotic Propulsion, Solar Sails, and Staging Propellants. Artist's illustration of this space transport and lunar gateway is shown in this picture. Crude Interplanetary Space Travel Up to today, no crew missions have been sent to any planet of the solar system. NASA's Apollo program landed 12 people on the moon and returned them to the Earth. Various space agencies and private space companies are mapping strategies to send human astronauts to Mars and the crew flyby of Phenos in the manned Phenos flyby mission. At this concept of exploration of the far side of the moon is shown in this picture. For the survival of the astronauts, crewed interplanetary flight must include certain design requirements such as life support systems, radiation protection, optimal reliability, and launch windows. Life support system must be capable of supporting human lives for extended periods of time. Preventative measures are needed to reduce exposure to radiation and ensure optimum reliability. An artist's concept of the new horizon spacecraft as it faces Pluto is shown in this picture. For the survival of the astronauts, Crude interplanetary flights must include certain design requirements. Artist's concept of NASA's lunar gateway is shown in this picture. Once a vehicle leaves low Earth orbit and the protection of Earth's magnetosphere, it enters the Van Allen radiation belt, a region of high radiation. Beyond the Van 
Allen Brett, radiation levels decrease but can fluctuate over time. Scientists are working on methods of reducing the risk of radiation induced cancer in preparation for the mission to the Mars. At this concept of building of a cryogenic gas station in space is shown in this picture. Any major failure to a spacecraft en route is likely to be faulted, and even a minor one could have dangerous results if not repaired quickly. Something difficult to accomplish in open space. The crew of the Apollo 13 mission survived despite an explosion caused by a faulty oxygen tank. Economy spacecraft travel to other planets is practical within certain time windows. Outside these windows, the planets are essentially inaccessible from Earth with current technology. This constrains flights and limits rescue options in the case of an emergency. Atis concept of interplanetary space travel is shown in this picture. For more information, contact astronautics for exploit. You've been watching and listening to Interplanetary Space Travel and Tourism for Cosmos and Universe Exploration and Extraterrestrial Vacation, presented by Dr. Ayanshola Ogundere, with the focus points, reasons for interplanetary space travel, and crude interplanetary space travel, interplanetary space travel approaches, and crude interplanetary space travel. Thank you.